so restless. I hope he won't throw you off his back. Stay close to me, Johnny. <laughs> have to practice before we're ready to train with our new guests. See? That's how you do it. for show jumping. And over there are the paddocks where the horses rest. Hey, Papa! What? Come now, Anna. We've talked about Jumper. He just does not want to be a show horse. You couldn't even win a carrot with that horse. But we've worked really hard and we've made <gasps> such good progress. Please don't let me down, okay? <sighs> nice and strong. Faster! Why don't you go have a nice ride uh, out in the fields? <sighs> don't worry. We will show them. We can do this. Just jump as high and as far as you can. Yeah! Oh, watch the bars! Are you injured? I'm fine. Anna, please don't do that. You'll get hurt with this wild horse. Besides, he has to be in top shape tomorrow. I finally found a buyer. Uh, you can't do that. He will be ready before the big summer tournament. Just give me a couple more days, please. You've put in a lot of effort. I'm very proud of you. I suppose you got that persistence from me. But be realistic. You simply cannot do this. That horse cannot be taught. Papa, give her another day. We're all going to help. We'll make it happen. I'm sorry, children. It's too late for that. The buyer will pick him up tomorrow. No! You can't do that. You can't just give him away like that. It's over. I am not wasting a single carrot on him. Let go of him. <laughs> oh. As you wish. You have to bring him to the paddock and clean him up. He is leaving tomorrow. You are my friend. I won't give up on you. I know you can jump. Your timing is just off. Just try again, sis. You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> if I can't do it, who will? It was worth a try. It's not going to be my horse, that's for sure. Our turn! Distract him for us. Easy does it, boy. One, two, three, three up! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn! Paula, no, you've just barely learned to ride. That's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, great, you're up. Now get back down, please. Nice, Paula. She's a natural. I would like to attempt some jumps with him. Uh, don't be ridiculous. You have no clue about riding. It requires years of training, like me, and a bit of talent. Hey, children! What are you doing? Why did you let our guest get on that crazy horse? Don't let her parents see that! You see? Now get down. Anna, clean him up and say your goodbyes. You've made things more complicated. Mm. Ah! Huh? What was that? Let's check it out. Don't step on the tranquilizer dart. There's no sleeping on the job. <laughs> Quinn. I should have known. What do you mean? Known what? Who is he anyway? And how do you know him? And can someone please tell me what's going on? You and that guy Quinn, you used to be friends, right, Nick? Uh, well, yeah. We had some adventures together. But for him, it was only about money and fame. He didn't care about archaeology. So why is he here now? Because in our last argument, I told him about the crazy captain. Huh? What? You did? Yeah, and I totally regret it. I told him everything about the island. Huh? Oh, did you feel that too? We should leave. What is that? Shh. Is it Quinn and his people? Sounds like footsteps. <laughs> it's <a> really big <laughs> feet! Run! <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, Will? <laughs> 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 
it's nothing. The rope! Grab the rope, Will! <gasps> Hold on! <laughs> Boy, that was close. Now that was cool. Hey, guys, they're distracted by something, like they're being hypnotized. I need to get a photo. Great. Got it. Dinah was already falling asleep. <laughs> He's capturing the dinosaurs. Quinn wants to get a souvenir from the island. Huh? Why would he do that? No idea. What does he want them for? He probably wants to build a dino-themed park. Okay. We have to do something about it. I think it's time we pay Quinn a little visit. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> You distract them, and I'll go open the cage. Oh, really? You think Quinn will just give you the key? Give you the key? I don't need a key. I have my own. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Shh, quiet down, old fella. Danny, something's out there. I'll check it out. Okay, I'll watch the fire. Great distraction. Let's split up. Stop! Don't move! Sammy, go get him! What do you say, little fella? Let's free the poor dinosaur. We'll get you out of there. Come on, open! Stay calm. <laughs> It'd be best if you also stayed calm, Nick. Get your hands away from that and turn around. Okay, Quinn. Let's be civilized. You can't take the dinosaurs off the island. They're what makes it special. And who exactly is going to stop me? You. <laughs> I don't know, maybe him? Oh, and him! Huh? What are you? Stop! I'll get you yet, you overgrowing one up! Let me back to the boat! What? The boat? Wait! Who gave you that order? Come here, you cowards! Sorry. You're on your own now. I don't need them. coming direct from the Mars Expedition. I haven't posted anything for a few days, but I found a little time to introduce the crew, so let's go meet them. First up, here's the main man, Mr. Demford. Hello, Alvin. Everything's in check. We're just waiting for the supply rocket. And Alvin, it's Commander Denford to you. I didn't spend seven years of commanding school to become Mr. Denford. Sorry, Mr. Denford. It's Commander Denford. And behind me, that's Lizzie Crawford. Hey, Lizzie. So, why are we actually heading to Mars? Oh, uh, H2O crystals. We need water to colonize Mars. Now, um, you fancy helping me analyze these soil samples? Next up, we have the taste test. Uh, um... So, that's gross. Alana, fighter pilot, engineer, weapon expert. Anything I forgot? Oh, yes. You forgot. I don't like being filmed. And if you don't turn that thing off, I will... Hey! Say... That signal means our supply rocket's ready to launch. And the pilot is my all-time hero, Derek Mitchell! Get the... Shoot him! <laughs> Darn it. Who made this game anyway? Hey, team! Hope you're all ready for me up there. Cool. Derek Mitchell likes my game, and I get to meet him soon. Exactly. Put the coffee Three, on. I'll be there in time for pancakes. One. We have liftoff. Space 
base station to Mitchell. Hand over to RUEC2 for docking maneuvers. Roger, Commander. Okay, little buddy. You know the drill. Wake me up when it's time to tango. Sir, a uh, quick question. Should the supply rocket be spinning wildly out of control? What? What's going on? They're coming in too fast. Ah! Everybody hold on! Stabilization systems activated. Huh. What happened? It's not responding! No. We have to do something. We have to rescue Mitchell! I don't care if it's too risky. If we believe in ourselves, work together as a team, find our true inner strength, there's nothing, nothing that can... What? We're already on our way. Landing zone confirmed. T minus 17 minutes and counting. No, I, I was just saying how. Prepare for atmospheric entry. Yeah, I, no, I, I was just doing that. Oh. oh, boy. That was one pretty rough ride. But I've had worse. We messed up real bad back there, little buddy. But if there's one thing this supply rocket has, it supplies. Blast. What does a guy have to do to get a drink around here? My calculations, a meteorite shower no, will hit us uh, in two hours. No. If all goes to plan, we'll only need 30 minutes. No. <laughs> Just like in training. <laughs> Don't forget that stupid camera of yours, Alvin. Oops. Uh. It's Alvin Goodman here again, and we're currently, uh, three kilometers east of the landing zone. And Ilana's here. She's driving us. Man. Oh, we've calculated the rough location of Mitchell's crash site. So, what could possibly go wrong? Ilana? Get lost, Alvin. Yup, yup, you're right. Getting lost is a potential problem. Out of the way! Oh, I think it would be out of the way. Alvin! Oh. Whoa. I'm sorry, Red Cloud. I spoke with the great Manitou last night. Huh? And he wants to test your courage one more time. What? Another test of courage? You must win a girl's heart. A what? A what? A girl's what? heart? But girls are trouble. Oh. Not just any girl's heart. The heart of Bright Feather. Wise Raccoon, please beg the great Manitou for mercy. Wise Raccoon has spoken. Take it from me, there are two kinds of people who can easily be won over with gold. Bandits and girls. You know what, Gene? I won't be working my guts out in this lousy gold mine forever. <laughs> well, someday soon I'll have my own jeans factory. And where will you find the money for that? <laughs> I started saving up a while ago. Hmm. <laughs> wow, look at that. The magic powder. Yeah. They use it to blast holes in the rocks. Uh, I want to check out the lay of the land. Let's go! Yeah. Goodbye. The gold mine is ours. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Faithful Paw, look at that. Oh, a huge nugget of gold. <laughs> right, Feather will be amazed. Oh, even more magic powder.
Oh, Faithful Paw, let's go! Just a second. It must have something to do with fire. Hmm. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Faithful Paw! <laughs> oh. 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 This stuff is incredible! <laughs> oh. Oh. Why on earth does Bright Feather have to be the chief's daughter? Take it like a warrior, my brother. <gasps> hey, greetings, Chief Sharptaw. <laughs> I come bearing a gift for Bright Feather. <gasps> a gift for me? <laughs> Go on, Red Cloud. <clears throat> Bright Feather. <clears throat> to me, you are as lovely as uh, this nugget of gold. <clears throat> You give me a stone and tell me I look like a boulder? You've lost your mind! <laughs> <laughs> She's just like Chief Sharpclaw. I think it's time for Plan B. <sighs> These guys look pretty mean. Just wait. When they see the gold, they'll be eating out of the palm of our hands. Is that clear? Pinch me. <laughs> what do we have here? Seems like two natives looking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Bennett. Stop. <laughs> Give me one reason not to blow those feathers right off your head. Here. A large golden nugget. What? Gold? And you'll get another one as soon as you've helped me with my plan. Open up a can of beans. We have guests. <laughs> okay, let me spell it out. Bright Feather goes for a walk near the frontier every afternoon. Uh -huh, yeah. You ride towards her and pretend you're going to rob her. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. And then I come riding in on my proud horse, swing my tomahawk, mm -hmm. and uh chase you away. <laughs> yeah. This little one would make a really good bandit. Hehehehehe <laughs>